Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be taking more of your questions in a segment of Ask Judy. So if you are enjoying these or you have questions or any of the above, hit like, subscribe, and put your questions into the comment section below. I have a question here uh, asking, when not shooting, did John Walmsley speak with a British or American accent? He spoke with an American accent, even though he can drop into a British accent very, very easily. He actually grew up from a fairly young age in the U.S., um, although he was born in the U.K. So he has pretty much had a, more of an American accent ever since he was young. Here I was asked, what was it like filming the little story for the opening credits of season one and two? And Cammie didn't recall much except direction on her speed running and the play suit being a wardrobe favorite. Oh, it was pretty much like shooting any other scene. You know, it was, okay, the truck is going to pull in. You're all going to gather around. You're going to be excited because daddy has this new radio. You're going to go up onto the porch, assume these positions. Uh, Elizabeth is going to reach over like, like she's going to turn it on. We're all going to laugh. And that was pretty much it. So we just shot it like any other scene. In one of the segments, episodes, I think it was the anniversary. I'm going to go back and check. Um, but there's a scene where John has built a gazebo up on the mountain and he takes Olivia up there to celebrate and takes champagne and a little picnic basket. And I looked at this and I thought that really looks like it was shot on a soundstage as opposed to up actually on the mountain. And John Dayton uh, verified that for me. Uh, he said, uh, it's been years since I've seen the episode, but didn't they slow dance? Yes. And the gazebo set was shot on a stage. So correct. I think we shot it next door on stage 25A. Of course, after 50 years, I could be wrong. In those stage, stage 25, as well as many of the other Warner Brothers stages could be split in half for efficiency, each half being a stage A or stage B. It might've been on 26, but I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't know that we had room there to build that. Um, so there you go. That was um, uh, what I thought was happening there in terms of that gazebo being shot on a soundstage is now being confirmed. Thank you, John. And then I also got some help on this one. Is there a story or information on who came up with using the last name Walton for the family? And our director, Ralph Snensky, weighed in on this one. I can sort of answer that. Earl Hamner's first book, Spencer's Mountain, about the family had been purchased and filmed by Warner Brothers when Earl wrote the short novel, The Homecoming, and it was filmed by Laura Mars, a CBS television movie, the family had no name. When CBS decided to turn the project into a series, Warner Brothers would not let them use Spencer as the family name. I've read that Walton was a name in Earl's family history. So there we go on why the name Walton and where it came from. Director Ralph Sinensky also added information relative to director's contractual agreements I have been asked about that, how how and why directors didn't direct every episode, why we had so many. It was you know, mainly because we had 26 episodes to film and it was, they overlapped. So here he says, I will add information regarding the contractual arrangement between the company and the director. For a one hour show, the director was contracted for 13 days, six days to prepare, seven days to film. The director worked with the film editor on his or her own time. Very seldom was the director involved in other post-production activity. So thank you very much for that information, Ralph. Ann Smith asked, I'm not sure who Ellen Gear played. Does anyone know? Well, in the episode, The Ceremony from, I believe that was season one, she played um, the mother of the young Jewish boy in the family that, that came from Germany to Walton's Mountain in hope of getting away from the persecution they were experiencing in Germany. So that was Ellen Gear's first appearance. And then later on in a later season, she played the sister of Sweet Billy when Mary Ellen is making nursing rounds up in the back hills. She is that sister um, that um, has the brother. So we were very fortunate to have Ellen Gear do a couple of episodes of the Waltons and always a treat. She's such an incredibly talented actress. And I'm hoping to perhaps get her to come speak and share a little bit about her experiences and about her wonderful father at some point. So 
hopefully I'll have that to share with you soon. Gary asked, um, how many minutes of film are shot for those 45 minute episodes and was much film left on the cutting room floor? Yes, I mean, we shot for six and a half days and, and would have many, many feet of film. However, uh, we did not print everything that was shot. So if we had three takes, they might only print one of those takes because it was expensive to print the film. So uh, they would try to use only the film that they needed, not do multiple takes just for the heck of it because it cost film and it cost time and time is money in, in filming. So we would have quite a lot of footage that would then be edited down. So a lot of work landed on the cutting room floor. Not to mention that if you shot all of, say, my close-up, uh, you wouldn't use all of my close-up because um, I'm speaking with somebody, so you would have all of their take as well. So you would lose pieces of when the camera was on me, when I was talking or listening, depending on when they wanted to intercut with the other person or people in the scene. So there might be five, six, seven, eight pieces that would go into that one uh, scene. So everything that was shot that wasn't used from my take or from someone else's take or from the master would end up on the editing room floor. I had another question here asking me about our life and now as grown-ups and how everyone's doing and what everybody's into. Uh, so thank you very much for asking about that. Everyone's doing very well. Um, so as you know, we have lost a number of members of the family, unfortunately, and they are missed all the time from Will Gear to Ellen Corby to Ralph Waite, Earl Hamner. Um, Michael Learned is still acting. She does a lot of theater work. Um, I have had the opportunity to catch her uh, on stage live a number of times and she's always fabulous. She's also in the process of shooting a mini series right now, which I'm sure you'll hear more about soon. Uh, and then Richard Thomas keeps very busy doing a lot of stage and and film and television. Um, he is uh, getting ready to go into rehearsals for a production of To Kill a Mockingbird, which he'll be touring for the next couple of years, as well as doing episodes of different series, miniseries, things like that. Uh, does a lot of work in New York on stage. Then um, John Walmsley. John Walmsley has relocated to Cornwall in the UK. He and his lovely wife have moved over there and he is still very much involved in music, producing, playing, performing, and enjoying life. Um, Mary McDonough, who played Aaron, is um, currently um, based out of Texas and is working on another novel, as well as being involved in various different um, uh, sorts of activities and activism and, and um, speaking um, and things like that. And, take, and she's um, taking classes which she is really enjoying back um, taking some, some college classes. Uh, Eric Scott, Eric Scott um, chose to uh, step out of acting and um, is, owns his own business and is, uh, that's been very successful for him. And so he works, uh, he works in that company and then spends a lot of time with his lovely family. Uh, David Harper, David Harper lives a, pretty quiet life. He, um, he prefers to not be in the spotlight these days, which is why he doesn't attend a lot of Walton reunions, but he knows how much you all love the Waltons and he really appreciates um, all the, the support and the love sent his way. So um, yes, he's doing well. And then Cammy, Cammy Kotler has been involved in the education field for a lot of years after she graduated with a teaching credential. She spent a number of years teaching, then she started working with um, private charter schools. She was a principal for a number of years and now is, I believe, in the administrative side of um, the work with the charter schools. So uh, she keeps very busy also. And the same person asked how many kids everybody has now and any grandmas or grandpas uh, and uh, that sort of thing. So um, Michael Learned has three sons and many grandchildren. Uh, John Walmsley has one daughter, no grandchildren. I have um, 
one son and one stepdaughter and stepson. I have no grandchildren yet. Uh, Mary has um, a daughter and two stepdaughters, and I don't believe any grandchildren there yet either. Um, Eric has um, two daughters and a son, no grandchildren yet. Cammie has a son and a daughter, no grandchildren yet. So none of us have grandchildren yet, but we do, um, but um, our kids, a number of them are, um, a couple of them are getting married this year. And uh, so they're all doing, doing very well. The, the next generation of the Walton <laughs> offspring. Uh, David, um, David Harper is not married and does not have children. So that's the update on all of us. Thank you so much for asking. And that's what I have for you for this segment of Ask Judy. I hope you'll join me again for another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.